Hello, this is Christy, and today we will look at another tool in Zara Designer Pro. And this tool is found in this menu down here on the left. And if you hold your mouse over this menu, you may see by default uh, another tool in there, but it doesn't matter. It opens this flyout menu and it has five tools. We will look at the first one here. This is called the bevel tool. So this tool is actually very simple and this is going to be a short video. You can activate it with control F3 and let's select an object first. So let's create a star or something like that. Here we go. And just a flat object. Let's give it a color of orange. So let's, let's try and see what the bevel tool does. I'm selecting the bevel tool. My object was selected before that. And you notice now that around the object, there are these handles I can pull. So let's try pulling on one of them. And you notice a second outline is appearing. And if I release, that creates a beveled version of my object. You notice there is a light also. So there's lighter areas and darker areas. So at the moment, this arrow in the middle shows the direction of the light. So if I move this around, you notice the light changes. So this looks really cool. You notice that Zara has picked the color of the object to create the bevel with, and it has given it a very nice look indeed. So now what can you do? As with all the tools, you have this toolbar at the top appearing, and you can have different types of bevel. So you can have a flat one by default, which gives you a flat line from the top to the bottom. And you can get a rounded one. So the bevel is smoother. You don't get those very sharp edges. Of course, if you pull this, you can make it larger so you can see it more, uh, see it better. Then you have a rounded two, which is even smoother. You can have a chisel version, which sort of goes on the inside for a bit and then goes back out. So it gives you a very, very sharp edge. You can do a chisel too again, which is a bit smoother. It looks like the object has kind of a plateau at the top and then the bottom part is smooth. Round frame gives you a sort of a fat look like it's a it's a pizza um, edge there. And then you've got round frame to all these var var variations of these uh, bevels you can play with. Now, I have to say that <laughs> the bevel is something back from the 90s, maybe. Uh, so I, I don't really know how, you know, I can't really think of uh, an idea off the top of my head of what you would use this for, perhaps creating some promotional sort of arrows and, and reduction um, arrows, but it still looks kind of cool. So you can um, you can create some sort of effects if we have a little bit of imagination, I suppose. And let me just show you. So there's other controls here. I'm just going to go back to a simple bevel just so that we can see what's happening. So yeah, um, you can change the uh, contrast here. So if you go down, it obviously the darker areas are not going to be so dark. And if you turn it up, it, they're going to be, you know, darker. So you've got a very strong contrast darkness to light. All, always the color of your object is going to be sort of the mid-tone. So you've got the light and the darkness there. And also here you can change the type of bevel from an outer bevel to an inner bevel. So instead of the bevel going outside of your object, if you click on this, it goes inside. So that gives you even a more interesting effect by actually chipping away from the object and creating the bevel. So there you go again. You can drag these handles to change the size of it. So, you know, you've got a cool star and this works on any shape, really, even on text. So if I add text here, this is a text and just make it larger. Click on the bevel and drag outside. There you go. Your text is kind of fat and raised from the top. You can change, of course, the type of light by doing contrast, light angle or elevation. So you can change these this drop down and then you can play with the uh, control here. So if I zoom into this text and go back to the bevel tool, I can change whatever is selected in this drop down. I can change with this slider. So there is a stronger contrast. If I change the light angle, I can rotate the light. 
which was, you know, I could on the other object I was able to do with that arrow. And you can change the elevation so that the light appears to be higher above your object and then your light uh, shadow is um, going to be stronger or uh, not so strong so you know the object gets more light because it assumes the light is higher plenty of room to play don't overdo this because you know uh, bevels were something that uh, used to be done in design a long time ago and now um, nowadays the trend for a design is really to use sort of flat surfaces instead of these 3d uh, looking uh, objects so I hope this tutorial was useful to give you a short introduction to the bevel tool in Zara. Please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. We will be doing all these other tools and in my tutorials I've already covered most of these previous tools. So check them out in the link in the description for the playlist with all of my Zara Designer Pro tutorials. Thank you for watching. See you next time.